ever been lost in a data jungle across multiple worksheets? In that case, you can use a table of contents to find out any worksheet easily. Stay tuned and let's transform your Excel chaos into organized and efficient magic. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create table of contents in Excel. So let's roll up our slips and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. In my workbook already, I have got four worksheets. Cells of January, February, March and April. Each sheet has two columns. Those are product and sales. Also, you can see a pie chart created from this dataset displaying each product's sales amount. Remaining sheets have the same structure. They got the sales amount of these products and decorated with nice charts. Let's begin with the most straightforward and seamless method. You can use the mouse cursor to create a table of content in Excel. First, you have to write down the sheet name manually. We'll do it for sales of January. So go to cell and write sales of January. Press enter. Now go to the first worksheet named sales of January and select any cell. Move the cursor to the cell border and it will look like a four headed arrow. Now right click on the mouse don't release the mouse cursor for this method you have to keep holding the cursor then hold the alt key also don't release it for this method you have to keep holding both the cursor and the alt key together at this moment move the cursor to the worksheet where i have written the sheet name a bit ago now bring the cursor to the corresponding sheet name in cell b5 first release the alt key and then release the mouse cursor in context menu, select the create hyperlink here. In the same way, let's do it for other three contents. This method is very convenient, but it becomes bothering while there's a vast amount of sheets in the workbook. It will take a lot of time doing it manually in this way. In this method, I'll use the insert hyperlink dialog box to create table of contents in Excel. First, you have to select a cell where you want to hyperlink the content. Here, I am selecting cell B5. Go to the insert tab. In the links group of commands, click on the link drop down. Then select the insert link option. A dialog box named insert hyperlink will appear. Also you can use the context menu to do this. Let's close it for now. Alternatively you can do the same task by using the Control plus K keyboard shortcut. Now go to the place in this document section, select cells of January under the cell reference. Then write down what you want to see as content in the text to display box. Here I'll write cells of January. Press OK. After that, you will see the following content with the link. Similarly, I will create the link for other worksheets. And that's it. You can use the hyperlink function to create a table of contents in Excel. First, select cell B5 where you want to see the content. I'll enter the formula here. Place an equal sign. I'll use the hyperlink function. As the link location argument, I'll write hash sales of January, cell reference of A1. As the friendly name argument, I'll write January sales data. Close the parenthesis. Here, the hyperlink function will create a link to go to a particular worksheet. Sales of January is the name of the worksheet for which I want to create a link. Hashtag will find the worksheet. Exclamatory A1 represents the cell location of the sales of January sheet. Actually, here you can give any cell reference of this sheet. Clicking on that link will take you to the cell of the respective sheet. January sales data is the friendly name, which means the name will be seen in cell B5. Press enter. And that's it. Repeat the procedure for other sheets.
Finally, you will see the result. You can use the Power Query feature also. Navigate to the Data tab. In the Gate and Transform Data section, click on the Gate Data drop-down icon. Select from File Feature and click on From Excel Workbook. Import Data window will appear. I have saved my Excel Workbook in the Desktop directory. Now choose your Excel file. Here I am choosing Creating TOC and press Import. The Navigator Wizard will appear. Here you have to select your Excel file then click on Transform Data. If you don't select the Excel file, you will not be able to click on the Transform Data button. Subsequently, the Power Query Editor will open. Right click on the Name column. From the Context menu, select Remove Other Columns. Click on the Close and Load feature. Select Close and Load to option. At this time, a dialog box named Import Data will appear. Select Existing Worksheet. Here, you can choose the New Worksheet option. In that case, your table of contents will be in a different and new worksheet. Secondly, choose the cell location for the table of contents. Here, I am choosing cell B4 as my cell location. Press OK. You can see the contents in the B5 to B8 range. Actually, these are the sheet names. Let's close the Queries and Connections panel. Now, I will create another new column named Link. Select cell C5 where I will insert the sheet link. Now, I will enter a formula in that cell. Place an equal sign. Hyperlink function. As the link location argument, I will place hash ampersand operator at the rate of name again ampersand operator and cell reference A1. The hashtag will ensure that the worksheet is in the same workbook. At the rate of name denotes the name of the worksheet for which you want to create the link. It automatically gets the corresponding name from the left name column. Exclamatory A1 represents the cell location of the sheet and the ampersand operator will connect the name and location. This is the final product. You might be wondering. Is there a way to automate this task? Think no more. You can automate the prior methods entirely with the help of VBA. For using VBA, you have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. Right click on any tab in the ribbon and select customize the ribbon option. In the Excel options window, check the box of developer option and click OK. Hence, the developer tab is visible. Go to the developer tab in the code group of commands, select visual basic. It will open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. From the Insert tab, select Module. It will insert a new code module window. Now, I will paste my VBA code into the module. You will find the code from the article link in the description box. Here, I have created a sub procedure named Table of Contents. Next, I declared some variables like alert data as boolean, num as long, sheet index as worksheet, sheet as variant. If there is any table of contents in the active worksheet, then the delete command will delete that. Then I assign the VBA worksheet to the sheet index variable. Here the table of contents will present. After that, I used a for each loop to include all the worksheets in the table of contents. Then this part will autofit the column width according to the length of the cell value. Now click on the run sub or user from button or press F5 keyboard shortcut. It will run the code. You can execute the code in another way. Let's close the Visual Basic Editor. In the Developer tab, in the Code group of commands, click on the Macros option. The Macro dialog box will open. You will see the recently created macro table of contents. Just select it and click Run. Finally, you will see the table of contents which has all the worksheets. You can format it if you want. Select the range, go to the Home tab. In the font group of commands, click on border drop down, then select all borders. Select cell B4, press Ctrl plus B to make the cell content bold and give a fill color to this cell. Also, you can align the content center to make it look like a column header. And that's it, your work is done. If you click on any content, it will take you to the respective worksheet. If your workbook has a vast number of worksheets, this method will help you surely. In this tutorial, I have shown total 5 methods to create table of contents in Excel. 
follow them carefully to do it yourself. Use the one which comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.